Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I have my 24 week OB appointment and I thought I would do just a little pregnancy update and just life update in general. I feel like I haven't properly talked to you guys this past month. February was crazy with us going to Omra and traveling and then launching our Ivy City collection. The house, there's just been like so much new stuff happening with the house and like so many decisions that I'm having to make. It's just been literally taking up so much of my time but hopefully so that we can get it all done before this baby gets here so let me show you guys what my 24 week bump looks like now it feels so huge but even though i know i'm gonna get a lot bigger this is what we are looking like oh my god you guys i've really popped now there's no denying that i am pregnant we actually had our anatomy scan last week which was so exciting we did get like maybe a couple clips i can put on screen and we saw baby boy's sweet little face with they did a 3d for a little bit just so we could see what he looks like and i don't know you guys i think we have another little mini omar on our hands i don't know my sisters and my mom are telling me that he might look like me but it's honestly still too early to tell you really can't tell until 30 something weeks because right now they just don't have that much fat on them so you can't really see their features all filled out but even then i still think he looks like elena <laughs> Which is so cute, which means he looks like Omar. We will probably do another ultrasound with Omar's sister, maybe when I'm like 32 weeks or so. She'll do a 3D for us so that I can see what he looks like. It's just so fun and it helps you like connect with your baby a little bit more during pregnancy when you're able to see them. I remember with Elena, I, it was so emotional for me like seeing her for the first time, especially in 3D. Wow, and I can't believe I'm doing this all over again. Um, I'm feeling him kick so much. I feel like he's so much more active than Elena was. Elena was active, but like this baby is on like a whole nother level. So be maybe you boy mamas can let me know. Like, is that like a boy thing or does that even matter? I don't know. Last night, it was funny because I was like laying on my side and I felt his legs just like, they felt like little rabbit legs just like kicking me like that. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> There's an actual child inside my stomach. It's just so funny. Came into Elena's room because I remembered I was going to show you guys a couple things in here for the baby. But yeah, I'm just not feeling prepared. Like with Elena, I was researching. I was just collecting all the things. I was getting this room all ready for her and all that stuff. And this time around, my mind is just like not in baby mode. <laughs> I'm so busy with work. I'm so busy with Elena that I'm just like... I'm, everything's just gonna be last minute plus I know we're moving so I don't want to buy a whole bunch of baby stuff or like get this stuff out of storage and bring it here just so we can move but I did get a couple of new things for the baby that I thought I would share first is this Kikaru peanut changing mat or changing pad it's super cushiony I've actually already been testing it out on Elena I tell her let's go get on the peanut I put it on the floor and she's I mean her feet hang off of it but you could literally use this until they're toddlers which is really nice and you can just wipe it down and it's comfortable for them to lay on which I really like it comes in a couple colors I got my Hakka again because I knew I would need that I'm planning on breastfeeding again but this time around I think I might just get some formula maybe supplement if I need to because I feel like with Elena my supply at night was not like that huge and I was just adamant about not using formula but this time around I'm like why am I gonna do that to myself and my baby my baby's hungry at the end of the day and I don't have enough milk then I need to get some and there's like a few brands that I have my eye on so if you guys have any formula brand recommendations let me know but there's this one in the EU I believe that's like a goat's milk formula that's supposed to be a lot like easier on their tummies I forgot the name of it but if you guys have any recommendations for that let me know I'm planning on breastfeeding again so I got one of those I actually got him some pacifiers as well but Elena found them and it was so funny she was like trying to use them again so I need to sanitize those <laughs> I got a wipe warmer this is not a necessity at all but I just wanted to try it out and you can put the, a whole pack of wipes in here just as is which is so easy I feel like I'm gonna like that this time around that is all other than a few clothes that I've gotten <laughs> For this baby if any of you mamas are pregnant and you want to see like all my baby favorites that i use with elena and then these new pieces that i got i will link that down below i'm planning on doing like maybe a newborn essentials for a second time mom once 
the baby's born and I have a little bit more time to like try out more of my products and stuff. And then if you guys saw this, I just got this Ramadan countdown calendar for Elena. Expect lots of fun Ramadan content coming soon. I'm starting to get all my home decor and stuff all gathered so we can decorate this house for the last time during Ramadan. I said that last year. <laughs> We thought we'd be moved in by now, but surprise, we're here still. But this time, I think I'm for real, for real. I'm gonna be heading to my OB appointment. I'm gonna pick up this vlog tomorrow because I have kind of a busy day and I was gonna show you guys house stuff and things like that, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I just got to the house. I'm excited because Omar's coming home tonight. He has been gone for four days to a camping trip in West Texas to Big Bend. It is like so up his alley. He was hiking and camping like out in the wilderness that is just so not me like I did BAMP I did the hiking there but we didn't we stayed in a hotel like we didn't camp out and it wasn't like backpacking I definitely will do like hiking but I just I don't know if I could rough it like that so I'm glad that he has friends he can go do that with he's coming home today and I am planning on making him some lamb chops I already like have them seasoned and they are marinating in the fridge I got some red potatoes and some asparagus. That's like one of his favorite things. I'm excited to show you guys the house updates because it's just so crazy how it's coming along. It really like looks like a house when you walk in there now, like <clears throat> all of the textures done in the wall. And now that they're installing the cabinets, it's just like really becoming so real. The only thing is, since I don't have a designer helping me anymore, I'm having to make all these tiny little decisions on my own. Like every single thing in this house, literally, you don't even realize how many decisions that there are so I'm having to well I just turned in to the builder like all the paint colors that was we finally decided on paint and then the other thing is I have to decide on all of the trim details with a house this size it is such a huge project to like design all the different moldings and things because I do want several rooms to have like certain pretty moldings on the walls and you have to design like the crown molding and the baseboards and the trim around the anyways it's a lot so plus like with work and with being a mom it's just like I don't have any time so all that planning gets done after Elena goes to sleep but anyways I'm excited to show you guys and I can't wait like there the builder says that we should be able to be in there um, in the next like four months which would be great because that's when the babies do and I really hope that we can get in there before the baby gets here inshallah if that doesn't happen then it'll be totally fine it's just crazy how everything's happening so fast now at this point cabinets are being delivered this is the kitchen and they'll have the oven in the middle of these two here are the paint colors we decided on it's kind of hard to see in this lighting benjamin moore simply white at 75 percent and then benjamin morris was coffee at 75 percent i'm so happy with these this is the this is going to be the cabinet color and this is the wall color let me show you guys my studio because that's like one of my favorite parts okay so this is my little studio closet where i'm gonna be able to display all my pretty things and i'll be able to film in here this is going to be a big shelf area the guy who does the trim will be finishing out that shelf and then in this little empty cubby hole here we're gonna have another like built in where we're gonna do hanging clothes and some shelves on top. It's actually sitting right here, but they just haven't installed it yet. And then this shelf is for shoes. And then there's gonna be a mirror on this wall. So when I do my try-ons and stuff in the mirror, this arch will be the background and I'm just so excited. Here's some cabinets that were installed in our mud hall. And here are the cabinets for our primary bath. The mirrors are gonna go on top. And then there's like a his and her side. And then this is the shower. So I just can't wait. I'm back home. I finished up my house meeting. And Omar, it says that he's supposed to be home in like 35 minutes. So I need to throw this food in the oven. So let me show you guys what I got. We have some seasoned potatoes, asparagus, and some lamb chops. I know he's going to love this. The only thing is I really did not order enough lamb chops. This is enough for him, but I just, I don't know. I never know with like the pounds, like how many pounds is enough for two people. And I thought I ordered a pound, which would be for both of us. But anyways, I do have more food for me, but I guess I'm just making this for him. <laughs> the lamb chops are in the air fryer and then I just put the vegetables in the oven. Now I'm gonna try to whip up some homemade chocolate chip cookies really fast. I really hope that I I can get this done before he gets home. It's the same recipe I used whenever I made cookies with Elena last time in my vlog. The recipe is so good. I'll have it linked below. I just found it on Pinterest. It was pretty easy to follow, so I'm gonna try to whip those together right now.
to you guys. I actually kind of burnt them. It's mainly, I think it's just like the outer edges, hopefully, that are burnt. I don't know, they still feel tender. So, hopefully this is not a fail. Cookies are in the oven. I have a little bit of work to do on my computer before Omar gets home. And I cannot wait to see him. Have our food. Omar's home. <laughs> Show us what you brought me and Elena. I brought, it's not much, okay, but some pink rocks that I found. <laughs> and where did you find them? Big Bend National Park. Love it. Yeah. I'll cherish them forever. We just made it to my parents' house and Elena's in the window right there. <laughs> With Lauren. Uh, or with Amanda. I know. Now that y'all are doing that, like she could definitely take a dance class. Yeah, she could. I think I'll start her when she's three. I think that'll be so cute. Ready, Lily? Let's go see Baba. Where's Baba? Okay, we got Baba here to watch now. You gonna do it? Okay, turn around. Clap. Arms up. <gasps> Arms up. <laughs> Amanda's the dance instructor. What's you doing, Mom? Oh, dizzy. <laughs> no, this is where I 